Sri Lanka is the pearl of the Indian Ocean, a former colony of the Netherlands. On this predominantly Buddhistic island, the elephants are being revered as a holy being. Throughout the centuries, the villagers and Asian Ceylon elephants lived peacefully together, based on mutual understanding. Only the male elephants have tusks. Ceylon elephants are being recognized by their dark skin, illustrating a lot of depigmentation, small ears and a long tail. The heaviest living mammal on land may be fierce, but it is strong and helpful. In the past, the elephant has been frequently used as a work animal. That's why people forgive him for so many things. However, the relationship between human and elephant has been disrupted over the last century. Sri Lanka counts 20.3 million inhabitants and the population continues to grow. The three and a half million farmers need more and more land to expand the paddy fields. Therefore, the habitat of the elephants is shrinking. There can be only one conqueror in the battle for the country. The Asian elephant has to compete with the growing population of Sri Lanka. Therefore, it's facing a battle against the local farmers, also known as the human-elephant conflict. The conflict causes casualties on both sides. In the past year, 56 people died and nearly 200 elephants were killed. A century ago, 40,000 elephants lived in Sri Lanka. At this point, there are about 4,000 left. Help the elephant by helping the local people. That's the credo of elephant expert Mario Hudemaka and Sri Lankan veterinarian Dr. Vita Pereira. They are trying to find solutions together with the Sri Lankan people. They are doing everything they can to protect the once rampant elephant population which is decreased to a small group to keep them from extinction. Between the hills in the southeast of Sri Lanka, you can find nature reserve Udawalau. This is the habitat of the wild elephant. They live in freedom together with so many other Asian animal species. The approximately 500 elephants reside in an area of 32,000 hectares which is equivalent to about 48,000 football fields. They form herds from three to 40 females and young elephants. Bulls, the male elephants, have to leave the herd once they become interested in the females. Incest is not tolerated, therefore they get mercilessly thrown out of the group. Bulls are solitary or roam in small groups. The flock's oldest female is the matriarch. She is the one to lead the group and take it to areas which are rich in food and water holes. For most of the day, they eat from abandoned teak plantations, scrubs and grassland. They are real connoisseurs and use the trunk with utter precision. In order to eat clean grass, he knocks the dirt off against his foot. Elephant expert Mario Hudemarka still enjoys to behold such scenes. He has nearly 55 years of experienced leadership at the Amersfoort Zoo. As a retired expert, he's asked for advice and support globally in the fight for preservation of elephants. His career as an elephant keeper began when he was 15. My life long have a fascination for the relationship mens dier En dat, uh, en dat had ik al vroeger als klein kind. Uh, we hadden, mijn ouders die hadden een bakkerij in Arnhem. En toen kwam ik op een gegeven moment, nou ja, dan zijn we via mijn vader in Burgers Dierenpark terecht. En daar waren we een keer brood aan het lossen. En er gaat een deur open en er komt een meneer met een alpinopetje binnen en een overal. En er liepen een paar olifanten achteraan. En ik vond dat zo ongelooflijk fascinerend. Ik zeg tegen mijn vader, ik zou wel olifanten oppassen worden. 
Maar ja, wat was in 50 jaar, 55 jaar geleden olifanten oppassen? Een heleboel poep opruimen en, en verder was dat geen beroep. Hij zei, je moet een fatsoenlijk vak leren, jongen. Nou, dat is natuurlijk ja, wel gebeurd. But the passionate elephant expert is not alone in his mission. Veterinarian Dr. Vita Pereira, who is leading the team of the Elephant Transit Home, emphasizes the slogan, elephants belong to the wild. Because you are going wild and the animals are not your friends. They are not enemy, but same time they are not friends. Because they always live with the peer, because they have no good uh, attitude about the human. Because in our case, we always make trouble to them. Vita and Mayo received an emergency call. There is a threatening situation in the Udawalao National Park. According to the rangers, many elephants in the nature reserve are very agitated because an elephant mother in the wilderness is in critical condition. The elephant mother needs urgent care, but this is no easy task when a young elephant is completely panicked because her mother lies on the ground, sick and on the brink of death. Vita wants to administer medication like moisture and tonics to get the elephant mother on her feet again as soon as possible. However, the team must be aware of danger lurking around the corner. So a little we we see the small olifants in the elephant transit home, and then they are very aanhankelijk en gezellig. Maar dit uh, kleine ding, dat kan je vierkant ondersteboven gooien. Hoor. Elephants are intelligent and social herd animals who are alerted by the panic of other elephants. They can be miles away and still communicate with each other by making low sounds that are not audible by humans. The noise and fear of the baby elephant is a sign for them to come and rescue him. Because of the strange circumstances in the presence of a group of active people who give out all kinds of scents and smells, the elephants are alarmed in their habitat. They are ready to attack at just a few meters away. The situation is anything but safe. Mission accomplished. The calf is still very panicked because he sees his mother laying exhausted on the ground with strangers who pull on her. Is attached to a tree. Vita can finally administer antibiotics. At this point, it is important that the little one remains calm and transportation comes rapidly. Everyone remains alert of the bulls in the thicket. Despite everything, the men continue. The danger seems to have passed, but time is pressing. The men quickly proceed to administer medicines. Although the team mainly consists of peaceful Buddhists, the men do have guns as a deterrent and last resort. Waar het om gaat in dit geval, dat ze hem op de juiste manier en op het juiste moment afschrikken. Op het moment dat de olifant in de aanval is, dan laat hij zich verdomd moeilijk stoppen hoor. Maar het is juist op het moment dat je dat overspronggedrag hebt, zal ik mijn familie gaan helpen, uh, zal ik aanvallen. En op dat moment van twijfeling, dan is het het moment, en dat, uh, dat schat de dierenarts ook heel goed in, dat hij nog zo van, misschien blijft hij een paar minuten zo links en rechts zoeken. En net voordat hij dan tot de aanval zou overgaan, dan even een schot in de lucht en wat hem inderdaad dan even van streek maakt en in ieder geval weer terug de jungle in gaat. Maar dat neemt niet weg dat in mijn ogen die mannen in ieder geval hier toch met een stukje ware doodsverachting uh, staan te werken hoor. Dat moet je verdomd niet onderschatten.
even we got a lot of experience with narrow escapes and uh, like that things. So risk is always there, even from snakes and every kind of things can be happen from accidents, yeah. While the men try everything to keep the elephant alive, the farmers in the village nearby have mixed feelings about these animals. And the elephants are not keen on cows and buffaloes, who are their food competitors. Many farmers keep buffaloes that they bring to the elephant's habitat to graze. So competition for food is fierce. Ali Oh, Ali ඊට පස්සේ මේක ගහලි වල මේ පල්ලෙ හා ගියා අලි ටික ඔක්කොම. ඒ යනකොට ඉතින් අපි බෙහෙල්ලකොට මේ ඔක්කොම කුඩු කොල්ලා ඒ පාරේ ඉතින් කරන්න දෙයක් නැහැ අපි උඩ පැයට වෙලාම හිටියා. ඔය ලියා ගියේ නැහැ එලි වෙනකම් හිටියා මේ පැත්ත කකා ඔක්කොම. ඇහැදිලා අරේ මේ වෙලා ඉවෙල්ලා ගෙදර ගියා මේ දැන් දවස් දෙකකට වැඩි නැහැ පිටක් කරලා මේ ගෙදර. ඉතත් තරහ ගිහිලා අපි ගැහුවා උන්ටත් තරහ යන උන්ටත් තරහ ගිහිලා උනොත් එනවා අපි පාලෙම අපි එක්කම මේ වෙන්නේ. මාතියත් නැහැ තව එකක් අපි මින්ද කීප වතර අපි මල රාලේ යන්න ඉඩ තියෙනවා. එන අඩිසත් දෙහෙන්නේ නේ. අලි එනකොට අඩිසත් දෙහෙන්නේ. සෑහෙන රයි හැට් තියෙන උගේ. ඉඳහ හිමිහිට කිව්වා පමණක් කලින් ඉන්න හිමිහිට හොඳින් කිව්වාම යනවා. හොඳින් කිව්වාම අහනවා ඒගොල්ලන්. අනික් කට්ටිය හොඳින් කිව්වට අහන්න නැහැ. අයියෙ විලාප තියෙනකොට ඒකල කොලප් වෙලා එනවා. පමණක් කලින් හිමිහිට කිව්වම පහත් දෙනතු පාඩු යනවා. අර තනි එකයි තුන් දෙනයි තමයි අන්තිම බය. උන් නම් එළවන්න බෑ මොන විදිහට ඔක්ක. The chance that they'll listen isn't that big because elephants are real opportunists. They go for the best and easiest snacks. An adult elephant consumes around two to 300 kilos of food a day. Nothing will stop them from eating their fill, even if that means walking a little bit further for it. <laughs> Many villagers use fireworks to chase the elephants away. The disadvantage is that they become aggressive, which is not their natural behavior. Because of their excellent memory, they will not forget a bad experience with a human. <laughs> 